Cody, what's happening? Have the drones been taken out yet? We've been tricked. The drones released some of the zoo animals. And they're after my family. We'll take care of it. Rescue bots, roar to the rescue. Ah! Heatwave, be careful. Chumley's helijet's moving in. Dad. Too dark to tell anything else. Graham, can you track the bot signal? Um, let's see. I I, I can't really. Is that a, is that a dot or? I, no. Dude, are those your glasses? Some plan. I have a feeling we were set up. Oh. Uh. Our tracking devices aren't working. The scoundrel is no doubt blocking their transmission. Look, I've studied those earth animals. A white gorilla, a hairy-nosed wombat. They're extremely rare. Chumley's private zoo. He must be holding whiskers elsewhere. A dodo bird. But those are extinct. You'd need a time machine to get one. That's what they'll be saying about us in a little while. Not if I can help it. We get out, split up, and find whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's coming! A good show! <laughs> Quite impressive. You might not be real animals, but you open up a whole new category of collectibles. Oh, I should call it robotic wonders. Oh, drones? Prepare them for display. New plan. Follow my lead. Jolly good. Well done. A rare find indeed. <laughs> Quarry will be so jealous. Cody Burns, Griffin Rock PD. Please pull over. You love doing that, don't you, Dad? <laughs> Won't have many more chances. This is the last month between me and a lifetime of fishing trips. I wish you weren't retiring. I agree with Cody. I do not believe Deputy Barney will be a satisfactory partner for me, sir. Now, Mr. Patty Paws, you know that's jaywalking. This is your fifth ticket this week. We'll look into other options. <gasps> Whoa. Is that Danny? She's way off her test flight route. And early. Knowing your sister, that can't be good. Danny's safe. Multi-emergency downtown, team. Already on it, Chief. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. You stay to a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home, now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect.
Looks like the jet crashed at the north end of the park. We'll clear the area. The rest of you know the drill. Like the back of my hand. Smooth and unblemished. Which translates to, we're headed for the fire. Still think jets are more fun than helicopters? <laughs> I missed you too, Blades. Mayor, you might want to try a restaurant for lunch today. This is why I hate nature. Fire break? You read my mind, buddy. License back. You call that flying a plane? I call it testing a prototype, and that one obviously has some bugs. I'm just glad the ejector seat worked. I've lost track. How many water tower floods has that been? Seven. Technically six. The seventh was an above ground pool. Emergencies never challenge us anymore. Not complaining. And that's why I'm hanging up my badge. You're all ready to handle whatever this town throws at you. But Dad, just put it off a what little if longer. It's Caden charge. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, Optimus assigned us to you. Until you achieved your mission to become perfect partners with us, which you have. What about Optimus's other order? To stop pretending we're robots? It has been years since he gave us permission, he'd wave. And our rescues would be much more efficient if we could simply talk to everyone. We're not talking to anybody until I decide we're ready. End of discussion. <laughs> Wait, first, you hate acting like a machine. Now you don't want to stop? Talk about a role reversal. You want a role reversal? Try walking home. Nope. Same old heat wave. Hey, Cece! <laughs> oh, our little girl is harder to pinpoint than an electron. Maybe stick to land-based baby toys from now on, Doc. It, it was. Celine reprogrammed it. She's going to be an amazing scientist when she grows up. Oh! If we can keep her out of trouble until then. I can't even keep her out of my room. We'd better work on our science fair project outside. There. Our listening telescope is all ears. With this tech boosting the signal, we'll detect alien radio waves better than SETI. I hope so. It's been weeks and the most exciting thing I've heard is a meteor shower. The Griffin Rock Lab's been sending messages into space for years. We're bound to hear from aliens soon. Like every time we talk to the bots? I know, not helping our project. Actually, I bet their ship has a record of alien contact. That would tell us where in space to point our radio wave detector. I'll ask Heat Wave. Science Fair first place, here we come. You can hang it here, Dr. Burns. I just sold this one online. Art Lover Puppies 37 says, I have a unique, almost alien style. Forget the degree. Check this baby out. Most hamburgers eaten in one sitting, a okay, burns. Is that frame made out of french fries? Ah, Cody, may I read you the latest passage in my book, The Competent Detective? Sure, Chase. After I talked it to you. It was 6.20 in the morning. The detective knew this because he looked at his watch, which told the time, not out loud, with numbers. Also, the sun was up. This is Heat Wave to Optimus Prime. Come in, Optimus. Gah. 
still not answering, huh? Yeah, for months. I know he's busy, but I just wish I could ask him. Yes, Heatwave? Sir, I wasn't expecting... I mean, uh, how are things? Never boring. Which is why I have a new mission for your team. I'm sending a transmission now that details your orders. Good luck. Wait, Optimus, we still haven't finished your last orders. To tell the humans of Griffin Rock who we are? I am aware. And you will know in your spark when the time for that is right. Oh, that's perfect. I finally make contact and I still don't know what to do. Well, what do you want to do? That's not that easy. Once we admit we're aliens, there's no going back. What if the humans don't trust us, or worse? Yeah, big changes are scary, and hard. The other bots don't see that. They think I worry too much, and I should just follow Optimus's orders. Well, if you're trusting your spark, sounds to me like you're doing exactly what he wants. Thanks, Cody. Now, is there something you want? Oh, yeah. Can I look at the Sigma's radio files to... I think you got your new mission. I know those coordinates. That's the bunker on the mainland. And these look like blueprints for a transforming building. According to the diagram, it is an advanced Cybertronium base on Earth. That's not all. Watch. The time has come to expand your ranks. Work with the humans of Griffin Rock to build this new academy. Use it to train and teach future rescue bots. The schematic requires a combination of human and Cybertronian technology. Before we start construction, we should talk to Doc. First thing tomorrow. It's a little late for a family with a toddler. Huh? <gasps> a radio signal coming from our solar system, but like nothing we've heard. Computer, send contact message. Greetings, Griffin Rock welcomes you. We are a peaceful species. Turn on your translators and prepare to attack. signal on the radio telescope last night. And when I sent out the welcome message, somebody got it! Seriously? What did they say? Well, uh, nothing. But at least we know we made contact. Maybe Boulder can look at the return signal for clues. And that's a micro ground bridge. Once he's not so busy. It will let us travel directly from the firehouse to the training center on the mainland. If we can figure out how to build it, Cybertronian science is advanced. I'll get started on test models right away. This project is huge. Optimus was right. We'll need every person on Griffin Rock to build it. And to help in disclosing our true identities to them, I have taken the liberty of making these informative pamphlets. Everything you wanted to know about Autobots but were afraid to ask? I say we bring everyone into the park for cake. Only there's no cake and we jump out and yell, surprise! How do you think we should tell the humans that we're aliens, Heatwave? Who said we're telling them? But the new order. Okay, fine. There's cake too. We'll work with humans, the ones we already know. Our new mission doesn't change anything. It changes everything. What are you so scared of? How long are we going to wait? <sighs> I'd rather be cautious now than regret it my entire life. <laughs> Griffin Rock Emergency. What's wrong, Mr. Alper? The mayor didn't show up to work today. I checked his house, and there's no sign of Mrs. Lusky or Poopsie either. <sighs> I'll fly over the island. Let you know if I spot any rogue toupees. Why won't Heatwave let us admit we're aliens? We'll fit in with humans. Boulder paints, chase rides, I watch TV. Oh, I've even seen Heatwave doing yoga. I think he's right to be cautious. Danny, you're supposed to be on my side. I am, but I know humans. If they saw you bots as a threat, they'd kick you off the island. Forever. Oh, good point. Whoa, what's that? I'm guessing not the mayor. Well, it's a dome, all right, but not his. What is that thing? Take us down. I want a closer look. 
I'll check it out. Be right back. No way. A spaceship? The hall's architecture section should give us some ideas for building your training center. Oh, I'm sorry, but this museum isn't actually open right now. Huh. I don't think you're from around here. Graham, run! <laughs> Oh, come on. Can't we just get my burgers to go? I don't do drive through You always drop onion rings in places I can't reach. Fine. Next time, I won't share. Everyone, I lost Danny. Lost her? How? She went to go look at something in the woods, and then she was gone, and this giant spaceship took off? Spaceship? Blades, where are you? The forest near Mount Griffin. <sighs> Servo and Graham were gone, too. Some kind of creatures webbed them up and took them. Uh, did they have teeth sticking out of their noses? Jeff, how did you know? I'm looking at him. <laughs> Easy, Fang Schnoz. You do not want to challenge the hamburger champion. <laughs> Don't let them whip you! That is the plan. Look out! See? I told you they were among us! I was right! I was so right! And you didn't believe me! Those things are everywhere. Chase, what are the Veldrox? Currently, a pain in my bumper. Spread out, team. We need to find Danny, Graham, and Kate. They're safe, for now. From what I've heard, the Veldrox web their prey and keep them for days. And then what? Dinner. We need to find their ship. Yeah, we're gonna kick some Veldrox Heine. Or whatever they have for Heine's. I'll call Doc. If the lab's still safe, we'll meet there. Power up our starship. This will be our base, from which we shall conquer more on this planet. Leave this one for me. He smells of ketchup. does. Trex is patrolling the perimeter for those creatures. The question is, where did they come from? Well, we were trying to make alien contact for our science fair project. You think we just invited hungry aliens to attack Earth? Oh, they can't all be rescue bots. Wait. When you contacted the Velgrox, did you get a response? Just to ping back that the message was received. I think I can use that to find their starship. And our family. Of course! If we resend the same message, the alien's craft should ping us back like it did before. And we can use that answer to triangulate their coordinates. Uh, but to resend the message, someone has to go outside and turn the satellite dish back on. There! Transmission sent! And response received. I'll upload it to the lab computer. Oh, they're here! <gasps> Trex! We got the Vilgroxes transmission. I'm pinpointing its source. There, the power plant. Then that's where we're headed. Ah! Ah! Noble, 
You scared them away. It was almost like they knew you. Not me, my species. In the histories, Velgroks aren't exactly friends with Cybertronians. Well, I'm not feeling very friendly toward them either. It looks like the Velgroks took Doc and the Professor. You kids lock yourself in the lab safe room. Cody, stay on the comm and call the mainland bots for backup. The rest of us are going on a rescue mission. It seems you may have picked the wrong month to retire, Chief. They're diverting power from the plant to recharge their starship. They must be planning to leave. It appears they're still packing. We have to get everyone out of there now. Heatwave, can you distract the Velgrox long enough for me to sneak inside? With pleasure. And I'll disconnect their ship. Come on, team. I think we need to have a little chat with our Velgroxian visitors. Hi. cocoons as you can. <sighs> the children? They're safe. Gather the townsfolk near the exit. Hurry. speak their language, but I would guess that is not a friendly greeting. Uh, stand back! This one's for Danny! Yeah! Our apologies, Metal Ones. We did not know this is your planet. Heatwave! Don't you feel it in your spark? If this isn't the right time, nothing is. It's not our planet. It belongs to the humans, and we are their protectors. <gasps> Understood. We will leave once we have fully powered up our starship with just enough food to keep us for the journey home. This one could feed us for days. Tempting. But how about you leave now, don't take any humans, and never come back? Final offer. I'd take him up on that. He's not big on negotiating. That one's mine. Ugh, took you long enough. She sleeps through aliens, but a little cheering. I hope that's the last we see of the Velgrox. It will be. When I checked their ship for humans on board, I took out their nav system. They'll never find their way back here. Chief Burns! Uh-oh. Here comes the part where they chase us with pitchforks. But, but we just saved them. Surely they know that we are different aliens than the Velgrox. Fear makes humans unpredictable. You sly old dog! I knew there was more to these robots! <laughs> you saved us! Yeah! Still want to retire? I might have enough to keep me busy around here for a long time. Can I get your autograph? Wow! 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 Wow!